objective accomplished. Commander, your attack on... Christine, come back. I promise I'll never make fun of your cooking again. Commander, you're proving to be more resilient than I thought. Such a pity that you refused to join me earlier. But no matter, as you'll not be here much longer. After much searching and reprogramming, I finally got all my systems back online. Once I destroyed the world with nuclear fire to clear the way for my cybernetic future, I now intend to further shape the world into my own image by surgically removing unwanted growths like yourself. My laser satellites are now powering up. I intend to test them on you first, Commander! <laughs> Nexus exiting system. Incoming transmission from scout team. Commander, we are attempting to return to base. This is our current position. Take control of our forces and lead us. Control transfer system. Entering new zone. I promised I'd mention it four videos ago, and here we are. The reason I was able to make it back from Gamma 2 after being stranded is because Project Commander the Mouse Master wasn't at Gamma 2. Beta Man Cam was leading that expedition. And now he's back with our army. With David of Alpha saved in Gamma 4 and Beta Man Cam returned, it's a shame Gamma Base was destroyed in Gamma 3. It would have been nice to have the band back together. Incoming transmission. Commander, elements of Team Gamma have contacted us. Well, of course they are. Not that I'm complaining. They have monitored the approach of the scout team toward their base. They claim to be free of Nexus. They offer their base as a site of operations in this zone. Base coordinates download in progress. Mission timer activated. Ten minutes remaining. Unit under attack. You start in the top left with three cyborgs, three... Uh, medium cannon cobras, and your entire force from Gamma 2. Your first goal is to meet up with Gamma Team in the southwest, and there's no reason to put that off, so rush the six Scrub Lord units to meet them. Leave the rest of the tanks huddled in the corner for now. Nexus has clown missiles that can reach us if we move down the ramp, and the cliff edge isn't wide enough for 40 units. Structure under attack. Power transferred. Group rescue. Mission timer activated. Gamma Base comes under our control, including a well-positioned sensor tower. I'm going to pull the camera back as far as I can and let everyone see the glory that is Nexus being taken to town hard. Imagine the 1812 overture in your head during this bit. Enemy base detected. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Assigned to Commander. With Gamma Base spotted, our trucks are allowed to build. So head down the ramp and have Assigned them set up a repair commander. bay Structure while the MBG covers them. Keep careful watch on the MBG. With no current forward repair bay, any damaged tank is going to try and run to the northern map area, which is a trek they won't survive. As for Gamma Base, it has one of each of the three types of factory, as well as a power plant, and pepper pots. I think it should also have a truck in here, but again, I'm maxed out on trucks. Also, if you happen to have up five power plants, or five of any type of factory before this stage starts, then that type of building won't be present in this area due to building limit reasons. I'm going to recycle the largely useless half dozen starter units and send the McShooter team down here as well as a truck so that I can recycle most of this. The location is nice, but the decor needs some work. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack.
Nexus has three bases, one of which is right up against the mountain edge. We could level it if we could see it, which, thanks to the magic of UAVs, we can. The MBG is probably itching for some action after its four-stage vacation, but their job this stage will just be to hold the line. The Air Force and Artillery has it covered. Don't worry guys, I'll make sure you get plenty of fun in Gamma 7. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to counter battery radar. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Unit under attack. Under attack. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Unit 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 under attack. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Reporting. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Structure under attack.
Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Under attack. Construction completed. Artifact recovered. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Production completed. Time for another flyby. Under attack. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. I love artillery barrages. Production completed. Production completed. Group zero reporting. Production completed. Major research completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed.
Artifact recovered. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Enemy base eradicated. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Commencing attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Major research completed. Construction completed. Production completed. Unit under attack. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Zero. Reporting. Group one. Reporting. Major research completed. Major research completed. Major research completed. Zero. Reporting. Unit under attack. The lone remaining Nexus base. The CB tower here will be the designated survivor. We will want a good chunk of time to research and rebuild though, so let's get started on the flattening. How about a 22 plane bombing run? On our way. Commencing attack run. Unit under attack. On our way. On our way. Commencing attack run. Unit under attack. I said two stages ago that a quad launcher could take an onward plane down by itself, depending on luck and training level. Here is that training level being demonstrated as a hero level Arnold causes one of the four missiles to miss and the other three to only do half its health and damage. Major research completed.
Zero, reporting. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group Zero reporting. Unit under attack. Group One reporting. Group Zero reporting. On our way. On our way. On our way. Zero, reporting. On our way. Major research completed. On our way. On our way. Research completed. Commencing attack. Unit under attack. Commencing attack. Unit under attack. Research completed. Commencing attack. Reporting. Group one reporting. Close enough. Let's send in the MBG, but with something we haven't done in many a stage. Set them to hold fire. Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Artifact recovered. Major research completed. Power resource assigned to commander. I guess we're clear then. 
Unlike the boring to watch but constant spawns of last video, this time I can fade out without any danger of you guys missing anything. See you shortly. Major research completed. Hey, we got some stuff. Structure research completed. Advanced VTOL production. Nice, I guess, but more importantly... Structure research completed. Robotic VTOL rearming. As we are using our heavy bombers now, this rearm speed upgrade is sweet, yo. Weapon research completed. AA target prediction computer. Can't hurt what you can't hit. Weapon research completed. Target prediction artillery shells. If our ground shakers attempt at hitting a squirrel at this time code was any indicator, they need the help. Weapon research completed. Railgun rate of fire. I chose this out of order, didn't I? Weapon research completed. The needle gun. The first of three magnetic acceleration cannons. Note that this is not the weapon I call Nexus's paper towel cannon. This is its predecessor. Weapon research completed. Target prediction computer for the magnetic acceleration cannons. Weapon research completed. Hardened rail dart, a damage buff for the magnetic accel- You know what, I'm just calling them MACs from now on. Structure research completed. Needle gun tower, an MAC defensive structure that is not a bunker, not a hardpoint, and not going to see any use in my setups. Vehicle research completed. Cyborg needle gunner. No comment. Vehicle research completed. Nexus medium body retribution. It also came with the Mark II upgrades for armor and engines. Unlike when we got the retaliation, the MK2 armor upgrades this came with will prove noticeable next stage, and the body itself ain't bad either. Weapon research completed. Avenger service to air missile. Weapon research completed. Target prediction missiles. Weapon research completed. Advanced missile warhead. Structure research completed. And the defensive structure. I'd be jazzed about these, except we also got the... Weapon research completed. Vindicator SAM, also known as the Princess Leia launcher. Structure research completed. And its defensive structure. There's really no reason to build the Avenger Dual Launcher when we also have the Vindicator Quad Launcher. The two upgrades do affect both weapons though, so that's nice I guess. And last, but not least, the Clown Missile, otherwise known as the... Uh... Hello? Tech? Where are you? Okay, I guess the new weapon doesn't want to show in the list. So let's look at the other stuff. Weapon research completed. Advanced Missile Allocation System, a rate of fire boost for the Structure Research Completed Scourge Missile The end of the Lancer Tree, this is the Nexus anti-tank weapon that fires as far as our bombards. I won't be using the tower defensive structure, but since this is the first time you get to see the weapon's name, here it is! Structure Research Completed The Scourge Missile Hardpoint, now this is a structure that will be seeing use. Vehicle research completed. And the Scourge Cyborg. It's a cyborg. What else is there to say? So how about that Scourge missile? Oddly enough, it's actually weaker than the TK, both in terms of a slight DPS drop and a lower damage per shot. It has a teeny bit more HP, but that's not what makes it worth changing to. It's all about the range. At nearly double that of the TK, we finally have a weapon that can fire at Nexus as soon as Nexus is firing at us. And at 480 damage per missile in two missile volleys, it still does respectable chunks of damage. And how about that new Nexus body? Let's compare the fast bob. The Retribution brings our Kinetic Armor up 10 points at a cost of 210 HP. 
The fast bob was already capped at speed though, so the Nexus body's speed advantage is lost. If we had to deal with a lot of low to medium damage, fast firing weaponry, I'd switch in a heartbeat, but we really aren't. Of Nexus's three main weapons, two of them, the Scourge and the Morse Code Cannon, do enough damage per shot that the extra HP helps more. This change would be a good one against the third weapon, the lasers, but overall, our trucks are far more afraid of the Scourge than the lasers. So no change here. Maybe the McShooters. In addition to the differences for the fast bob, the artillery also get faster. But only by a bit. And the thing is, the only weapons that stand any real chance of hitting the artillery is enemy artillery, which tends to be of the high damage per hit variety. So I'll leave these guys alone too. But this next one, the Arnold Bombers. Again, the only weapons that tend to hit these guys are missiles, which are high damage per hit. But there is two major differences between these guys and the ground troops. One, these guys have a screening force that goes in ahead of them to eat the missiles instead of the Arnolds. And two, just look at this speed difference. With the Retribution body, the Arnolds move at triple their previous speed. On the rare occasions that they don't kill every last SAM site on their bombing run, there's a real good chance that this speed difference will allow them to get back out of range before the SAMs have reloaded. And the best way to survive an attack by anything is to not let it attack in the first place. So these guys will be getting the new body. 20 more minutes of preparations later. So here's the setup. Bottom center I have two major defensive walls. One facing south with gaps to allow movement, and the other blocking the valley approach from the top right. I also have my MBG here ready to go. Gamma Outpost has a spare power plant and a repair bay in the middle with the McShooters surrounding it as well as some artillery on the cliffside facing south. The point of entry for Beta Team has been walled off, with two new factories and VTOL plants right behind it. I even threw in a bombard pit for nostalgia's sake. I've scattered more random bunkers around the area. A defensive wall here with repair bay backup. I've moved my airfield to this cliff, with yet more artillery nearby. Group zero, reporting. All VTOL pads I had north of this have been recycled. And a few more light defenses guarding this mini-valley. Ten minutes remaining. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. If you're looking at this and thinking, yeah, but the Mouse Master overloaded the structures in Alpha and Beta as well, he didn't need nearly this many, well, get ready for the next two stages is all I can say. Construction completed. Objective accomplished. 